Okay, so late last night it was announced that Wayne Rooney had handed in his resignation uh, to Derby County. Uh, he has resigned as the manager. Um, Quantama were obviously, you know, uh, taken a bit by surprise by this decision. Um, they were trying to obviously, you know, whatever potential bidder was coming along, look, we've got Wayne Rooney as manager. Let's, let's you know, try and build something here and try and sell the product. So now the club doesn't have a football manager. Also, the, the, the consequences of this is, yes, we've had a takeover collapse. We've discussed that. We've discussed Mike Ashley's bid for the club, but something else has now happened, which I think is a positive, is David Klaus, who is um, a local businessman, is a local property developer. He's bought the stadium and he's loaned the club money so they can start next season. That is a positive. He's also put in a, uh, a takeover bid. So there's now another potential takeover bid. I think Quantama will look at that. Um, and the fact he is now the stadium owner and go, actually, this might be the guy uh, and his property group that can take... Um, the club forward and take us out of administration and solve this very sorry nine month uh, administration saga that also predates this. I mean, you know, we can we can argue about the pros and cons of how the club was run before the administration. But David Clouds has now put his name on the table as a potential buyer of the football club. The other problem that Wayne Rooney would have been facing when he had only five senior players on contract, the ongoing transfer embargo, EFL rules, um, means that they can't, you know, buy players in the transfer market or sign players in the transfer market. It has to be free agents only. And there's only so many youth players they can promote from the youth system uh, to the senior squad before they start damaging their youth system um, irreparably, uh, it would seem. So, five senior players. Um, they started last season with eight. So, the situation is, is more difficult. But if you look at Wayne Rooney's record, the team actually, on paper, with results and points and, 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 and wins, was actually better than the season before where he took over after replacing Philip Koku um, on, on a permanent basis. Uh, so the team got better. Then you add the points deduction. Yes, they get relegated, but they didn't finish last in the championship. So Wayne Rooney actually did a pretty decent job considering the circumstances over the last couple of years that, that Derby County have been facing. Uh, Wayne Rooney's done a pretty decent job. Uh, on paper, at least, with, with results, the team got better. So... I think he's done a very, very good job in very difficult circumstances, but now he's available. And there are a few clubs out there looking for a new manager. And, and Gareth Southgate, and I will stress this, is under pressure in his England position because of the poor Nations League results that England have had um, this so far this summer. And so while the FA have extended Southgate's contract, imagine if England have a bad World Cup. Just, just let that sink in. Imagine if England have a bad World Cup. Um, it's, it's, it is a tricky group, but imagine if England have a bad World Cup, fail to perform uh, to the level they did at the Euros in the previous World Cup. Could the FA be forced to act on Gareth Southgate, Wayne Rooney still being available? Could that be a, a, a pathway? Could Wayne Rooney be interested in international football management? That's just an example. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but it, it could happen. But also there's some, there are some clubs in, from the Premier League all the way down to uh, you know League 2 who may want to change manager or have a managerial vacancy. There are a couple out there. Could another club go, we want to change direction, we want a new guy in? Wayne Rooney could be the guy to, to take us that next level. So I don't think he's done his CV any harm by the way he has managed the situation and, and got the results on the field. Yes, the points deduction, you add that in, okay, they get relegated. But I don't think Wayne has done his, done his managerial credentials any harm. Um, the, the, the fact he's resigned is interesting. It, it is a blow to Derby County. Um, but a club could have come along and bought him out of that contract and said, look, we're offering you a deal, we want to build something, we think you're the guy to take this club forward to promotion or, or, or up the league table, whatever league they're in, we want to offer you a deal. Um, so it wasn't guaranteed he was going to start next season, but when the Kirchner deal collapsed, it was more likely he was going to leave than stay. So there we go, Wayne Rooney has resigned as Derby County manager. The situation is very, very fluid. David Clowes is another one of the front runners to purchase the club alongside Mike Ashley, but he has now bought the stadium. So that's the development in that regard, but they still only have five senior players on contract. And without a, a, a head coach or a manager in position, it makes it harder to sign those free agents that are looking for a club to continue their careers um, in English football. So recruitment's going to be an issue until a takeover is completed and a new manager installed to take uh, recruitment is going to be a massive, massive problem. Um, so we'll see what happens with Derby County, but the clock is ticking. Two bids now publicly on the table to replace the Kirchner collapsed deal. Um, we'll see if Mike Ashley or David Clowes is successful or someone else. 
because Quantama and the EFL are very, very keen to get this uh, any deal done before the start of the season. So, you know, they can start the season with no points deduction and the club doesn't get liquidated. Uh, but the fact that David Klaus has loaned the club money means it's more than likely that Derby County will be starting the season. With, with what squad available, we shall see. But there we go. Thank you very much for watching. Please place your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll have some more video content up for you very, very soon.